Hey there people, how y'all doing today? Back with another one. Welcome to the class. The class to get rich, the class of finances, the class of good work, the class of good vibration. Welcome. Today, we got another one. Uh, just dropped another card off to you. Up to $20,000 with the Apple credit card. Apple credit card is great to have because it's easy to get. The reason it's easy to get is an easy play to run. All right, let me tell you how to run this play on Apple. Um, first we want to go to the main website. Um, we're going to go through the cards, you know, it's little ones and twos. Uh, it does hit TransUnion. You do have a, a, a pre-qualification. And, uh, they said it is hex to get around the hard pull. Um, no. What Apple has done, because y'all put all these videos out, I thought they didn't hard pull me. So I went and got the card pre-qualification. And I'm like, wow, these people doing all these hacks and all this and that to get the card and all this and that. Do you know how long you have to have your TransUnion lock before uh, Apple would do a hard pull on it? Apple did a hard pull on my TransUnion when it did the, uh, when it reported it to my credit profile, basically. Like a month later. It's like three weeks later, just a random, I had a random alert. My TransUnion just got hit with another, uh, inquiry. I'm like, what? I mean, three weeks later. So if you, don't mind uh, freezing your transunion for a whole month. That'll work. Just know that it ain't gonna be instant. So you you would think you got away with it. They don't change the rules on you. So um, just want to throw that out there at the beginning. But shit, you get up to three percent off. Uh, unlimited unlimited uh, daily cash back on um, every purchase. All right, the simplicity of the uh, Apple in the credit card. Shit. The basis of it, it's a great credit card. Um, only thing is about this credit card, Apple forces you to have a product to have a card. Nine out of 10 of you guys already have Apple product. If you are Android enthusiasts like myself, you probably you possibly have been like refusing to get a, the, the iPhone or whatever, but um, if you get approved for this card, it it it'll, it'll make you think about it. I know that. Uh, it's a cool card. Uh, it's titanium or whatever. Don't have any numbers on it, so it's like it's supposed to be harder to steal your information, as you can see. It has a chip on it, but the chip, to be honest with you, it doesn't do, it ain't a tap pay chip. I'm going to let you know that now. So the point of it, I don't know. You figure that out on that one, not yourself. It's not a tap pay chip. You can't tap at the register. It's, so it is a chip, but it's not a tap pay chip. Um, paying, uh, paying is pretty easy. Uh, they would like for you to pay it off uh, by monthly. Um, you can hold a balance on it. Um, you can hold a balance on it is 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 in and pay as little as twenty five dollars a month with this card. How they want you to do it, but like I said, they rather you pay it off monthly. Um, it'll let you, and that's the one of the best things about it. Uh, right here, it actually encourages you to. Pay less interest. And that's what I'm uh, telling you. It shows you it has a a payment chart, and it shows you how much you can pay to avoid interest, which is pretty cool. Uh, unlimited um daily cash back, uh, real cash you can use right away. They do give you cash back. Um, you got three percent daily cash back. Um, when you shop at Apple, uh. As you see, all of the stuff right here from Apple that you make and buy, that includes 
on the iTunes store also. Mm -hmm. Shit, you get 2% daily cash back uh, when you use your uh, iPhone or Apple Watch to pay with your Apple Card. So when you use the uh, tap pay or whatever, you get 2% back. And, um, I think that's what I've been doing. I didn't use the card like that. I used the phone. I mean, you could do tap pay that way with your phone if if the shop does Apple Pay. I was referring to the card doesn't do the tap pay like the phone does. It has the chip, but it I don't know. It just doesn't. You still have to swipe the card or slide it in. Um. And they say select merchants to get uh even more cash back. Yeah, I didn't shout out none of the things because I'm I'm not getting any endorsements from them. But yeah, you shout where you want to. <laughs> I didn't tell nobody to shout there. If it's like me, I'll tell you not to shout there, to be honest with you. And save your money. And uh, learn how to pay yourself. Stop paying these businesses. Uh, your car, your data, your business. Uh, so I guess they don't care about your spending. You got 20000 do what you want. Well, blah, 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 blah. They said they got tools to uh, help you make... Uh, well, tools to help you make uh, financially healthy choices. I would have worded it a little different. Trusted partners for a different kind of credit card. Uh, and that's just about it. <clears throat> so you got your Apple Wallet, you got Apple Pay, then you got Apple Cash. The difference between Apple Wallet and Apple Cash, your Apple Wallet is your credit card, your debit card, and stuff like that. that like, it's like Apple Tap. Or whatever. You use Apple Wallet to use Apple Pay. Apple Cash is different from your credit card because it's like a savings debit account. So you got a savings account with Apple Cash, which you can uh, deposit cash and uh, just hold it there to further notice. You know, um, you also can have a card for that. I suppose. Or it's maybe digital only, but yeah, it's just a separate account, a savings account through Apple. Separate from your uh, credit card that's connected to your debit account or debit card. Um, They say you could have up to 26.24 uh, APR. APR on your car, depending on your credit worthiness. Um, and this is the whole thing. So basically at the end, we're gonna tell about the heck how to get the car. I'm not going there to do it. Sign into that. Well, basically what you do So what you would do is you would come to uh yeah, that's cool. My whole thing is why don't you get me? I don't like it because the pictures aren't clickable. They should have put links in the pictures. Yeah, for real. They want to explain everything. They don't even allow you to buy nothing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole I guess you got to hop into the store. I actually buy stuff. 
you gonna see the iPads. And then they say you go uh, you buy it, right? So just buy throw it in your car. Lots of closet. Do a little engraving. No pencil. No keyboard. No trade head. <laughs> um, and then you get an apple card. No apple key. Add to bed, and it is as simple as that. Review bed. Now, what you want to do is <clears throat> when you uh check out, you gonna check out with your Apple Card monthly installments, and um, it allow you. And that's for the people who you can go a little cheaper if you want. Uh, you can just get something like this so you can pay installments on that basically just buy it with your apple card they say that helps uh your decision if you do it that way but if not if you uh actually have you know okay credit you can just come straight here and just uh you can just google uh you know apple credit card and it should be like the first one to come up it'll bring you here it's the pre-approval uh, application. So you just come here, and this tells you simple stuff about it. No annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, um, or late fees, no fees, period. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm about to say no fees, period. I like that. Um, And they also said that Apple Card never sells your data to anyone. Um, hint, hint. Uh, shout out to all the agencies out there. Um, So come here. Uh. You got your little pre-qualification. Like I said, they do pull from TransUnion. So make sure your TransUnion is looking spiffy before you uh, pre-apply. Um, because as soon as you pre-apply and um, they accept you, they're going to show you your limit before you accept it. So, you know, uh, that's good. First, they accept you, and then they give you the option to accept them. It's not like uh, all other credit cards. That, oh, we know you just want us so bad. And then you get the credit card with a booty limit. And, I mean, a, <clears throat> a bottom feeder's limit. And then, you know, you might not want the card, but now you're stuck with it. And uh, you just have to, you know, fight hard for a, a, a credit uh, limit increase in the, in the future. But uh, this is a pretty good card. I have no quarrels against it. I like the fact that they kind of incentivize people to pay their uh their balance off by the end of the month. Uh, and if you should, I mean, why not? How much spending you plan on doing? Um, the biggest thing I think people do wrong is they try to spend as they as they pay their balance is not going. It's going to keep you. That's like a Hamster on the wheel right there. But, uh, I mean, nobody tell you to make that initial purchase. So, with that, all that being said, don't spend more than you can pay. Like, don't spend more than you can, like, use it like a debit card. I would, personally. As soon as you spend it, pay it off or attempt to. Um, because you're in a negative. A lot of people, It's funny. I seen this commercial with this lady. She was uh, she was talking about her savings account, but then she started saying that she was in a big a lot of credit card debt. Just like my money and my savings, and she's like, 
or this credit card debt. I was like, lady, that's not your money in the savings. That's their money. All you did was take the money off the card and spend it, and you kept yours. So you kind of like transferred, like you did a money transfer long, long term wise. You still owe them. It's like a purchase. So it's not your money. It's their money. You just transferred it to your savings account, and now you owe these people, and you crying about the debt. <laughs> That's basically all that happened. And y'all got to stop looking at it like that. Like, come on, man. If you spend any of these people money that's not your money, and you you negative until you become a negative. That's how I look at it. I can't say I didn't spend any of my student loan money because, you know, I did, and I used it up even though it ain't do too good, but it is what it is. So you in the negative <laughs> until you pay that back. That's common sense. I mean, you got physical, you have physical money. Your bank account says you have money, but overall, I mean, if we do the bookkeeping, you're still in the negative and you got to look at it as such. People stop carrying their life like they just, oh, well, I got my money, but I still owe them money. Well, that's that money then. <laughs> that's just being honest. And uh, that's the way you got to look at life. Stop giving yourself excuses. I think people just give themselves excuses to go into more debt. We need to stop that shit. <clears throat> we don't do that over here. It's, this is a, a transparent mirror. You got to look at yourself, look at the situation, and just tell the truth. Stop lying to yourself, Craig, about all these purchases you're doing and you think, you, oh, I can pay this, I can afford this. No, you can't. You're living above your expenses. You're living above where you at. Your eyes bigger than your pockets, you understand me? You're writing checks, but you got to cash them. You know, by the time you hit the bank, the bank, the bank looking like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. So, you know, everybody, get, let's get this situated. Uh, I love all you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share to anybody you think this can help. Um, get this Apple card. If you think the Apple card will help them in their uh, life. Now, uh, in order for you, and, uh, and, and, and before you stand to the end, I got another little jewel for you. The Apple card uh, automatic uh, credit limit increase. Um, keep your balance zero. Uh, make a lot of transactions because Apple get paid off a transaction. I would say make at least 30 transactions. Keep your credit card limit to zero. Um, and I say make 30, five, 30 to 35 transactions. Keep your credit card limit to zero and Apple will reward you. And if they don't, don't see it, um, just tap them on the shoulder. Send them a little message at the right top uh, corner of your screen. Um, I think. I forgot the last time I sent them a message, but send them a message right quick. All you have to do is put input um, credit limit increase, and uh, they're going to see your uh, balance is zero. You just made a bunch of transactions. Matter of fact, after you make those, after you bring your balance to zero or have your balance zero, make the transactions and pay off the transactions. Once you pay off the transactions, that should initiate uh, the. Um, The credit limit increase and what we're gonna what we call transactions over here are songs um of course you don't have to do songs if you have anything out there matter of fact i will go to the dollar store but the whole thing is um that's only one transaction it's a large transaction but it's only one transaction so if you do have a dollar store with a self-checkout uh and you have time you just sit there at the counter um, you get one item and you blue, you pay for it, get your receipt. You need 20 receipts. I mean, 30 receipts, 30 to 35 receipts. That's why I say you can do songs of items. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier. And nobody looking at you weird. Like, why are you paying for 30 items separately with the same card when you could just do it one time? But anyway, uh, none of that business. Tell them mind their own. Um, like I said, if you go into Walmart, you grab uh, $30 items um, for your kids, little toys, whatever, little the candies, little thirty dollar thirty uh dollar items, and you can get to the self uh checkout register. Um, nine times out of ten, it to take. By the time anybody pay you any attention, I see what you're doing. You'll be towards the end. 
So you just take your uh, 30 receipts and uh, put them in the bag with your 30 items. <laughs> and uh, you go and pay that off with your debit. And um, watch the magic unfold. And um, don't say I ain't told you so. The car goes up to 20000 Um, It's going to take you from wherever you're at, you know, 1, 2, 2 to 5, um, 5, 8, you know, 10. By the time you get to 20, and you only can do this by month. So you could do it month by month. So every month you can do a credit limit increase. Um, give me all the tech, but the thing is, once you get this money, do not just go crazy and spend it. Uh, you will have to pay it back. Uh, and it will trump. You shooting this limit up that high will be your highest limit credit card. And you spending it like that, going crazy. Um... If I was you, I'd use it to have the utilization of my other cards with the zero APRs. And um, you can just go crazy with them cards. And this card right here, just keep the balance zero. And you can do whatever. You can max all the rest of them out. Um, but pay those other ones back also because if you don't pay these cards back and you just max them out, even though it's a zero APR, everybody's saying, oh, you could... Yes, but these people looking at you, too, and they will not give you a credit limit increase uh, if you misuse the card. Like, they're not going to give you a credit limit increase just for you to max that out and hold it. You understand me? They want you to actually use... Like I said, they get paid off these transactions. Not just one big transaction. They get paid off multiple transactions. They want you to make... 20 to 100 transactions a month with that car. That's a, a client they like. And you keep the balance low too. That's the client that they love. You keep the balance low. That means you're not running off with their money. And you're not money hungry. You're not hurting. You actually make it have emotion. And then you actually having transactions with their car. That's what they really want. Every day to 100 transactions a month, you will get your credit, uh, your credit limit increase. You're a perfect customer. You're the customer that they made the car for. You understand I me? Mean, like I said, they get paid off transactions. When you ask for the credit limit increase, you could you could you could tell them the amount of transactions you did for the month or for the three month period or for the six month period. They're gonna see it and be like, oh he did. So yeah, understand this and understand that, and we're gonna get there. Um you stay for the jewel, that's so you can run this card up. I taught I gave you a jewel, easy way to get the card, and now I showed you an easy way to run your limit up. Um, yeah, take this information, apply it, and, um, we're going to go far out here, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see y'all on the Golden Brick Road, and we about to get rich. You understand me? I know my neighbors hate me doing that late at night. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, but it's cool. It'll be all right. Till next time, y'all.